Fluxus, estrategias en comunicación, presenta. Good evening everyone. Welcome to Point of Jazz with Glass. Welcome everyone. Here we are in Punto de Jazz con Glass, Point of Jazz with Glass. And we are going to listen to a very brand new CD with very young guitar player, Matt Greenwood and the CD Atlas. And it has 10 very interesting songs. He is from Zimbabwe and he also worked in Canada for doing the record. And you can listen lots of influences and colors on the recording. And for talking about it, we have Matt here and we are going to welcome him in order to listen all the stories he has to tell us about the CD. Matt, very well. Welcome. Thank you for having me, Glass. It's great to be here. I'm really right. excited for the show. Let's talk about why the name is Atlas. Why don't we start also talking about song number three, which is the homonym theme, Atlas. The title kind of came to me thinking about like ancient mythology. And I love the idea that with instrumental music, songs can mean different things to different people. And the theme of Atlas to me encompasses a number of different themes. One of them being this idea of responsibility that Atlas is depicted as bearing the heavens on his shoulders but also this theme of navigation that in ancient mythology Atlas would be the one who would turn the stars so people could use them to know where they're going and I love this as a young artist just beginning my career this idea of like navigating things is always on my mind so I thought that was an interesting theme. Let's follow the stars then by looking at Atlas carrying the world and the universe on his back and let's listen to Matt Ringwood playing Atlas here at Punto de Jazz con Glass.
there's a song that calls my attention because the name is very unusual for us. What is the origin of Dea? It's kind of a bit of a funny story and it might be a bit of a disappointing answer, but the title Dea literally came from, to me, a bit of the melody in the song sounded like that word in a way. So it's not a real word. It's just a sound more than a word. And to me, that song actually, it was the only one on the album that to me didn't have a super specific story behind it, but I wanted it to be more of like an overture of sorts or like an introduction to the aesthetic world of the album. So it doesn't necessarily have its own point other than to introduce you to the, the sonic atmosphere. Music started with words and not even words, just syllables in the origin. And yeah. in Africa where the music started, so <laughs> it perfect makes sense by any means. With Marvin Good, let's listen to Zaya.
Matt, how many times have you lived a redemption? It's hard to say, you know, that song, for me, it wasn't really an autobiographical song. I was thinking about someone else's life when I wrote the song. And it was actually the story of a composer, Rachmaninoff, and hearing about him debuting this symphony that he had worked so hard on, and it was horribly received, and no one really liked it. And he went through a bit of depression. But then for him to come back and write some of the incredible works he did after that, to me, seemed like such a huge redemption. And that was actually the inspiration for that song. Musicians inspiring musicians. That's one of the points that music is about. Music is eternal and it is very easily transmitted throughout all generations. With Matt Greenwith, let's listen to Redemption here at Punto de Jazz con Glass on the City Atlas.
right back here at Point of Jazz with Les. Y Media App es la herramienta que te permitirá conocer a la audiencia de tu radio, saber qué gustos musicales tienen, cómo piensan, analizar su comportamiento y así mantenerlos felices, incrementando la cantidad de tus oyentes. Además, contarás con tu propia aplicación para Android y iOS y tu sitio web personalizado con streaming incluido. Todo en un solo lugar. Comienza hoy tu prueba gratuita. Y Media, tu audiencia conectada. ¿Sabías que el 80% del contenido que se genera en Internet es video? El 60% de los que lo ven terminan visitando tu sitio web o tus redes sociales. Videos corporativos, videos virales, videos de productos, streamings, videos para eventos corporativos, redes sociales y mucho más. Visita www.emotionmedia.com.mx y aprovecha todo lo que la tecnología puede hacer por tu marca. Emotion Media. We are video makers. Fluxus. Estrategias en comunicación en alianza con Fusion Radio. Radio, Radio, Radio. Genera contenidos para plataformas digitales. Conócenos www.fluxus.com.mx Inteligo. Información y estrategias. Hacemos que sus ideas se hagan realidades tangibles, convirtiéndolas en éxitos rentables. Con nosotros... Sus estrategias son más. Visite www.inteligo.mx y descubra cómo podemos apoyar. Inteligo. Hoy la telemedicina ha tomado un gran auge. Los celulares inteligentes se han convertido en herramientas que colaboran con nuestra salud. La conectividad es cada vez de mayor velocidad y cobertura. Mi Doc Online es la solución en una sola app para que tengas una consulta con tu médico. Que él te diagnostique, te dé una receta e incluso en dónde puedas comprar tus medicamentos y pagar la consulta. Todo en línea y en tiempo real. Mi Doc Online, la aplicación disponible para tu tableta o celular y que te ayudará a mantener tu salud y la de los tuyos. Mi Doc Online. Me duele mucho, mamá. María, Regina no se siente bien y nuestro médico no está en el país. Busca en Ubicadoc, ahí encontrarás médicos de todo el país y de todas las especialidades. Seguro encuentras alguno que incluso haga telemedicina. Ya no aguanto. ¡Ya! ¡Listo! Ya programé la cita por videollamada. Y ya que Regina esté mejor, iremos a su consultorio y la revisará en persona. Ubicadoc, la ayuda a encontrar médicos a la medida de su salud. Solución disponible en Internet y en aplicaciones para sus dispositivos móviles, iOS o Android. Ubicadoc. We are back here at Point of Jazz with Glass. Matt, for the results I've seen on the city, I can tell that you have lots of commitment in your life. That track, um, Commitment, it was an interesting one for me. I wanted the song to feel a bit like a dialogue between multiple people. So the guitar and the piano in the introduction are kind of going back and forth as if they're speaking to each other. And I like this idea of this sort of narrative song where the two are speaking to each other. And then by the end of the song, the sort of dialogue has stopped and one is just carrying on by itself. I wanted it to feel like there was this commitment that the melody was going to finish with or without the support from the underlying bass line and stuff. And again, like I feel with instrumental music, so much of the beauty is that it is subjective and that there aren't lyrics specifically defining a story. So for me, it's not just about one commitment. It's about the concept of commitment and what that could mean to anyone listening to the song. For all our listeners, I want to tell all of you that Matt is a very young man and the city is a very solid result. So we can take that example and let's get committed with our goals and objectives and let's get some inspiration with a uh, theme commitment by Matt Greenwood on the city atlas
I would like you to talk about the process of the recording, especially talking about the constellations theme. One of the most exciting things for me with this record, being someone who's equally interested in production and audio as I am with music and composition, I love this idea of mixing the record myself. There was a time at which I was editing, tracking, and mixing all at the same time as one sort of process. So it was much less of a sort of modular, segmented process where we tracked and then edited and then mixed things. So the song Constellations, if you could even call it a full song, actually started by taking excerpts from one of the alternate takes of Dea that didn't make it onto the recording and cutting them up and splicing them together and then overdubbing more layers of guitar. And the idea with it was to create just this less than a minute long sonic atmosphere that just draws you in before the album starts. But it's interesting in that it didn't really start as its own song. It was pieces of another song cut up and, you know, transformed. It is a very nice appetizer in order to listen to all the recording. Let's travel through the stars with Matt Greenwood and the theme Constellations. What is the inspiration for Wild Angels? There's a really funny story for Wild Angels, and it's a little bit embarrassing, actually, um, but I think it'll make people laugh. Um, <laughs> There is this amazing album by Michael Brecker, the great saxophonist, called Wide Angles. I heard this record for the first time and I was just blown away. It's beautiful, the arrangements, the playing, everything. And I completely misread the title. I thought it said Wild Angels, but it actually said Wide Angles. So I was telling my friend about it. I'm like, you must listen to this album, Wild Angels. It's great. And he's like, I've never heard of that one. Do you mean Wide Angles? And at that point, I immediately kind of face palmed, but then thought to myself, well, that's that's a really good title. So if it hasn't been used by Michael Brecker, I'm going to write a song about that. <laughs> so then I immediately went home and started composing that piece. And the title to me was so evocative and created such imagery that the feeling I wanted to create with the song just came right into place just from the title. Well, inspired and perhaps dedicated to Michael Brecker, the great saxophonist that we have played here in the station sometimes. Let's listen to Wild Angels instead of Wild Angles, <laughs> Wild Angles <laughs> by Matt Greenwood on the CD Atlas.
Let's talk about ethereal beings. We already talked about white angels. Have you been through a campfire ghost? You know, the title is, I suppose, in some ways misleading because it could sound like it should be like an ominous or a creepy song. But for me, the ghosts were more figurative. And I'm thinking of the ghosts as representing like memories that could be haunting you and that it's it's more about nostalgia than it is about, you know, actual ghosts, I suppose. That being said, once we got into the production side, I wanted to try and work, play off that word ghosts and use some guitar overdubs to try and create some more ethereal sounds. But the song was actually created, I actually wrote it years ago one of the last times I was visiting Zimbabwe and being home with my family and it's just about like nostalgic memories and I wanted it to have this sort of folky singer-songwriter quality that just to me feels really warm. <laughs> Taking in consideration that family is one of the most important things on earth, let's dedicate this song to Matt's family and all the families that we love through music with the theme Campfire Ghost here at Punta de Jazz Congress. <laughs> Thank you. 
We'll be right back here at Point of Jazz with Les. Y Media App es la herramienta que te permitirá conocer a la audiencia de tu radio, saber qué gustos musicales tienen, cómo piensan, analizar su comportamiento y así mantenerlos felices, incrementando la cantidad de tus oyentes. Además, contarás con tu propia aplicación para Android y iOS. Y tu sitio web personalizado con streaming incluido. Todo en un solo lugar. Comienza hoy tu prueba gratuita. Y Media, tu audiencia conectada. ¿Sabías que el 80% del contenido que se genera en Internet es video? El 60% de los que lo ven terminan visitando tu sitio web o tus redes sociales. Videos corporativos, videos virales, videos de productos, streamings, videos para eventos corporativos, redes sociales y mucho más. Visita www.emotionmedia.com.mx y aprovecha todo lo que la tecnología puede hacer por tu marca. Emotion Media. We are video makers. Fluxus, estrategias en comunicación en alianza con Fusion Radio. Radio, Radio, Radio. Genera contenidos para plataformas digitales. Conócenos www.fluxus.com.mx Inteligo, información y estrategia. Hacemos que sus ideas se hagan realidades tangibles, convirtiéndolas en éxitos rentables. Con nosotros... Sus estrategias son más. Visite www.inteligo.mx y descubra cómo podemos apoyar. Inteligo. Hoy la telemedicina ha tomado un gran auge. Los celulares inteligentes se han convertido en herramientas que colaboran con nuestra salud. La conectividad es cada vez de mayor velocidad y cobertura. Mi Doc Online es la solución en una sola app para que tengas una consulta con tu médico. Que él te diagnostique, te dé una receta e incluso en dónde puedas comprar tus medicamentos y pagar la consulta. Todo en línea y en tiempo real. Mi Doc Online, la aplicación disponible para tu tableta o celular y que te ayudará a mantener tu salud y la de los tuyos. Mi Doc Online. Me duele mucho, mamá. María, Regina no se siente bien y nuestro médico no está en el país. Busca en Ubicadoc, ahí encontrarás médicos de todo el país y de todas las especialidades. Seguro encuentras alguno que incluso haga telemedicina. Ya no aguanto. ¡Ya! ¡Listo! Ya programé la cita por videollamada. Y ya que Regina esté mejor, iremos a su consultorio y la revisará en persona. Ubicadoc, la ayuda a encontrar médicos a la medida de su salud. Solución disponible en Internet y en aplicaciones para sus dispositivos móviles, iOS o Android. Ubicadoc. We are back here at Point of Jazz with Glass. Matt, do you like being under the sun? I've come to like that more after spending some time in Canada and experiencing the winter there. <laughs> What about from Sunshine? I wrote it when I was studying with a great guitarist and composer, David Occupinti, who taught me so many things. We're taking this concept of looking at like a pop song that I picking a pop song I love and then trying to transform it using techniques from much more avant-garde classical composers. And so I took this beautiful song by John Denver called Sunshine on My Shoulder, which is one of my all time favorite songs. And I very loosely used the structure of that with these harmonic techniques from Bella Bartok. So it's quite a wild combination of artists, but to me, in a very subjective way, I feel like I can hear both of those artists influenced in the song. And that sort of technique got the ball rolling, but once it started, the song just, I kind of feel like it wrote itself and I was just sort of the vehicle. Musicians, inspiring musicians, copying musicians and creating a great pieces of art. There is inspiration. And that's what we have with From Sunshine with Matt Greenwood here at Punto de Jazz con Glass.
There's a title, Matt, that makes me think in lots of aspects of nowadays work. I think just for the title, it's very interesting that you as a very young man that you are can come up with such kind of titles with such a philosophical impact. What's left on the world? I first wrote this song uh, in 2020 when the pandemic first had started to set in. And I think like many artists, there was this feeling of panic, wondering if the music industry was going to be intact in a year's time or what that was going to look like. And at the time, with schools shutting down, gigs shutting down. I think some of us all felt this feeling of the world coming to a stop for a bit. And while it may seem a bit melodramatic, that song title came to me as this, just thinking of like this, exaggerating it in my mind and imagining this like post-apocalyptic world where everything has come to a stop. And so that's how that song came to be. Very thoughtful, very precise on that feeling. And it's something that has to invite us to reflection. What's left of the war if we don't use it the proper way, if we don't respect nature and we don't respect each other, right? Yeah. Let's listen to What's Left of the War by Matt Greenwood here at Punto de Jazz con Glass.
I think we can say goodbye with the next title, and it is the first morning. Uh, what can you tell us about the theme, Matt? This piece is one that's very personal for me, and I find it it touches on different levels, sort of. So the initial inspiration for the song was from a classical painting by the same title, The First Morning, as sort of a famous painting that I just think is beautiful. But it's quite a heavy subject in that the painting depicts Adam and Eve discovering the death of their son in the Bible. And it's a heavy topic about sort of loss and grief, and especially in the context of that story being the first time a person had really been killed by another person. And then when writing this piece of music inspired by the painting, I then kind of connected it with other previous experiences I had had in my life. So it's probably for me emotionally one of the heaviest songs that I've written, just, you know, getting into these topics of grief and loss. But I tried to end the song with a more brighter section after a lot of the darker uh, harmonic sort of territory it goes through, because I still wanted it to feel like this grief and then reconciliation, not just darkness. <laughs> a very nice approach for the painting, which is very painful, but trying to get the best out of any situation goes along with music too. Matt, it's been a pleasure to have you here and to listen to your music, especially knowing that you are very young. You just stopped being a student and now you're a professional and you're bringing us your first CD, and, which is an honor. And we're more than happy to show the CD to all the public. Thank you so much. It's been a really pleasure to talk to you today. Thanks for having me. Our pleasure. My friends, Matt Greenwood, the song, The First Morning, City Atlas, here at Punto de Jazz Congress. Have a wonderful night. This was Point of Jazz with Glass. Have a wonderful jazzy night. Ever since that